last bit, this is the tricky part. Eight miles. Is that miles? Eight miles. Go uh, slow. Uh, going. Yeah. No, not, not go slow. Go? I mean, no. you'll be fine anyway. Some pictures on the web of a fascinating lone tree in those white rocks and then I got wild to find out and one time I then found a picture that actually had a location I think it was 500 px I so one picture of a tree in now there's a group expedition here 12 people four cars five cars All of these different formations within this very small place. Oh, I need to shoot this, I need to shoot this. And even this time I didn't get to shoot everything I wanted to do because time's too short. And even though we had two days. So I think I'm gonna come again. You could spend a couple weeks here easy. Oh, yeah, so much. Now you do earn it. It takes uh, a bit of effort to get inside. Yeah, the first two times I got stuck and I had to dig out the car. <laughs> Finding out it's only a two-wheel drive. Now we're prepared, we have Quite a lot of big pickups and Subaru. The Subaru. Uh, they say don't do this if you don't have four-wheel drive, but Subaru has got an amazing all-wheel. You got a bit lucky with the weather. And the weather helped, sure. The weather helped a lot, and this morning was great. What was uh, so? I, I guess the catalyst for this was two years ago. We did a small meteor jam with me and Nancy and another friend. Last year, you came and joined us in Steamboat Springs. That was so cool. We had good group, but tough conditions. And then what, like the next day, you're like, hey, let's do next year in White Pocket. Yeah, it was really, when we were up in the mountains and Milky Way and about landscape plus meteors plus a little bit of light painting, I thought this spot is going to give us all the extra extras. And you tell me, what do you think? Because you... No, it was gorgeous. Last year we went to Pacific Northwest mm -hmm. and, you know, the first test shot I took, I got three meteors. And this was a few weeks before the peak night. Yeah. But you know, the thing is you can have bad conditions of the sky. If you've got cool stuff to shoot around, that's an amazing plan B.
you can have bad conditions of the sky. If you've got cool stuff to shoot around, that's an amazing plan B. There's no worries about, oh, maybe we don't get to shoot. Last night we had lots of clouds, but we got some amazing fire shots. We've got some really cool drone shots. Tell us about your experience with the drones and last night. Well, I always had the dream to do light pending with drones. And uh, I think we all together came up with a really cool group shot. I didn't believe, but... You didn't believe No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had it in my head. Tell us about the first shot. Well, the first shot I thought we facilitate all the different areas and the texture the spot exposes to us. And so we spread out on different areas. The drone was high above, above us. I think 500 feet, what did you say? 350, I think. 350 shot. feet. So we Six seconds. Then we all spread out. Everyone took the uh, flashlight and lit up the area around them. So we have lots of patches, like a mosaic of white pocket in the middle of the night. We give him we give him a lot of light to land. Come here baby. Okay the alien arrived. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have to get the How about...